Hi everybody! In this video, I will present you how we use a Swift class from an Objective-C project. From Swift to Objective-C, as well as in the other way, there is a bridge that is handled by Xcode. And this bridge is automatically generated thanks to several directives. You have to do some import of something that is implicit and you have to declare somewhere in your Swift file that you will also export Objective-C-like interfaces. On the Swift side, you do as usual. On the Objective-C side, you do as usual. And you can also play with manual memory management, of course, on the Objective-C side only. So, let's have a look on the way you create this bridge. As usual, I add a new file, typically a CocoTouch class, but here I say it wants to be a Swift. And I create it. Since it's a foreign language, it's not the language of the project, he proposed me to create this bridge. I advise you, even if this bridge in our example will not be used because it's basically the bridge between uh, Objective-C and Swift, so to invoke Objective-C from Swift, I advise you, and we'll explain you later why, to let it in the project. Let's have a look on a small example in which we create and manipulate a Swift class from an Objective-C project. We will init this class and also access this class content. No problem. Let's have a quick look on how this application behaves. Okay. As for the other example, it's just displayed two labels, but as you imagine, the information from taken to uh, display in this label is computed in Swift while the project is in Objective-C. Let's have a look uh, in the structure of the system. So here you have the app delegate files.h.aim and the view controller files.h.aim you are in the world of the project. Here you are in the Swift world here represented by the only class, my class, and you have this file. In fact, it's strange because this file is not visible in the project, but it's, it's there. You don't have to create it explicitly. Apparently, you can do it, but it's really not necessary. It's generated on the fly by Xcode according to the directives you put here, apparently. So, let's have a look at my class. My class, it's a Swift class as usual, except that you have added this, and that you are strongly recommended to add that. But apart from that, it's classical programming. Here, let's have a look on the view controller. On the view controller, if you want to use this uh, Swift part, you have to import this file. And this file, you don't see it in the project. Once again, it's automatically generated. So, you have in the project the part that is the creation of the layouts. So, I don't recommend this code. I just delete this part because it was uh, uh, taking too much room. And the important part is specifically here. Okay. where you are creating and manipulating the Swift part from Objective-C. And you will notice a big difference here in the way you instantiate the objects. You are not using the traditional sequence alloc init, you are using new. And you have to be cautious because in the first versions of uh, Swift, the link in between the two were still relying on this traditional invocation. Okay? 
I've lost some time to discover this when I was upgrading my code. And then after, you can use your uh, Swift uh, object as usual, as if you were in uh, Objective-C. Okay, so it's quite simple. There are not that many uh, difficulties. You just have to be careful with these tricks, in fact. So, it's as easy as invoking Objective-C from a Swift project. Uh, it will probably be useful for a while until all Objective-C code has been imported. Uh, but what do you say that? Because I'm invoking Swift from uh, Objective-C and not the reverse. Yes, but you can imagine a situation where you invoke Objective-C from Swift and then some Swift again, okay? So, in fact, I uh, had two separate uh, videos, but of course you can imagine that within the same project you have both directions acti activated. And, by the way, this is why uh, as soon as you create a file that is not the native language of the project, it proposes you to do the bridging, because with this bridging, uh, you may uh, do all the um, connection you want uh, in the project in the future. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later.